Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's G from Happiness and Crafting. So today I'm going to show you how to make these lovely little scroll dingly danglies. Now this is what I had on my Halloween journal. Let me just quickly show you. Um, which is this one here. Now I've made them slightly different, um, a little bit easier um, for you to make. Um, but I think they are really, really nice and it looks really good. Halloween journal or you can have it on... Um, any vintage journal that you like. I've also done some pretty ones. So if you wanted to use those on some of your pretty journals as well. So this one, I've added three. I haven't put the scrolls in because I haven't done the scrolls on these ones yet, but this is what um, it looks like with the three and on this one here as well. But I just love them and I've popped a little key on there. So they just dangle off the side of your page. This one here, Again, it's got the key and then I've just got the little scroll in the top and these just sort of like open out like that. So you can have something already written in it or you can just use them to write something on there and pop in there some little secret message um, on there, which is lovely. And then they just pop in like that and then just dingle dangle off your page now i've got a, like a little bail clip on there as well just to give another element um, to the dingle dangle um, which i think looks really really nice and again this is one that's just adding three i'll show you how to do these anyway so that's this sort of like masculine sort of side of it and then this side i've made a pretty one and we had to have a little butterfly on this one so this would look nice if you had a nice feminine ju um, journal or a little fairy journal and this one again I have just popped a little piece of tea stain paper and then I've just rolled it up like that and then popped it into the little bit there just scrunch that over but I just think they are lovely aren't they now if you didn't want to use the scroll I've just popped a flower in these so the same principle but instead of a scroll I've just popped a flower but I've stuck it in so it's just a pretty dingly dangly and again another one of my butterflies on there and then this one here I've made two two of these that look like they've got like a little hessian bag sitting in there like that so I'll show you these oh and again this one is um, for an autumn journal which I think would look really nice wouldn't it so I think, let me have a look, I've got this journal and I've got this one to hand here, which is my um, little um, autumn one, which would look good on there, wouldn't it? Let's just pop that on there. So I could hang it from there, or I could hang it, I could just hang it on here, look. So look at that pop little butterflies on there and then you've got a little secret little one on there which looks good oh I like that I do like that and then I've got this one which way around well this was our little pocket little pocket journal wasn't it with lots of pockets in it so these could hang off there like that or this one or oh, that one would look nice that would look pretty wouldn't it <gasps> I like that love it okay so that's those let me pop those to the side now i'm going to show you how they are done now i have made them out of straws now these are just paper straws now look you got 25 in here and they were 95 cents so that's really really good value so look how many i've got now i need to find some other projects with these as well i brought these the other day um because i thought i could make something out of them um because they're sort of like that nice craft um, paper look to them. So I thought we could use those. So pop those to the side. Do apologise, I have pulled something in my wrist. So that has been strapped up. Um, just overdoing it, I think. Working too much. A bit too much fussy cutting, I think I'm doing. So let's just take... Well, let's just take this much. Shall I measure these for you? That is, let's have a look, that's about, mm, just under, about an inch and a quarter, or what's that, three centimetres, I believe this is about half a centimetre, it's about half a centimetre, or 
sixteenth of an inch, something like that, I would think. So let me just, oh no, I don't need to do that. I was just using that because that opens up the um, little hole a little bit more. So if it gets squashed, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to squash this end down so nothing falls out. Pop a little bit of glue in there. What sort of one shall we make? Let's, oh gosh, my glue's stuck up. This glue has gone so thick. I'll just lay it down. It's driving me nuts. I don't really want to dilute it too much because I end up adding too much to it and it goes too runny. So I'm going to just hold that with my clip on there for a minute. And I'm going to use, what shall we do? Shall we do one out of this? This is a piece of scruffy old fabric left over from my journal. Shall we just wrap that around? We could just wrap a piece of this around, couldn't we? Let's chop this off a little bit. That will do. Which way round shall we go? So that can just wrap around. So it looks like a little holder, doesn't it? Let's pop a little bit of glue on. So again, use any fabric. And if you don't have any fabric, you can just wrap some paper around it, or you can just make the tube out of a piece of paper if you don't have the straws. That's what I did on my other one, but I thought I've, I've got the straws and the majority of us have sort of a few straws in the house, don't we? Like that. So that's the outside. Let's squash that down. You can just wrinkle this up just a little bit so it looks a little bit more tatty on there. So that's that bit. I'm going to lie my glue down. Now I'm going to use a little bit of wire not that one, that one's too thin. I'm going to use this one. This is the 24 gauge wire. I'm going to just take a piece off there. I'm going to take this and I'm going to pop it around the top of our little tube, our little straw. Then I'm going to get my pliers and we're just going to twist it around like that, just to hold it tight. Like that. That's nice and tight. Chop a little bit off here. Have to use these because the, the cutter on here is is not sharp at all. Then I'm going to just wrap this around. Just make a little bit like that, just so it's got a little circle in there like that and that's what we're going to hang the bulb pin on off okay so that's on there like that now we can add a little bit of something else to it can't we shall we have a little bit of this wrapped around just to make it look a little bit more grungy let's just do that shall we pop a little of glue on here. Go round. Just go round and wrap it round. Just like that. Grunge it up. Perfect. Okay, so that is our little outsidey bit. Let's pop a little bolt pin on before we make the little scroll. Pop that on there. Should we have some chain? Oops. I've got a piece. There we go. Pop a little bit of chain on. And then we need a bolt pin. There we go. So there we go. That's our little dingly dangly like that which looks good now to make the scroll let me pop my lid on here 
I'm going to take a scrap piece of paper I'm going to just cut about an inch do you think that's an inch? just over an inch and a quarter and that's two and a half inches I'm going to just get my scruffy piece of paper and where's my ink pad? there's my little, look at these, covered in bits of fabric and all sorts, you should see the state of my desk, it is disgusting from making my Halloween journal um, I've still got bits and pieces everywhere so it's so so messy but it's great because I don't mind mess now I'm going to just scrunch that up just a little bit just to give it a little bit of texture just pop that on there pop that to the side and now what we're going to do we're just going to roll this up if we can if I can just squash that there we go there we go just roll that down like that when you come to sort of like the end just turn this end bit over so it's sort of like a little bit scruffy there I think that's going to be too big oh no perfect and then that just sits in there like that so there we go fabulous again you can pop that um plain so you can have writing in it you can write in it yourself or you could have a little poem or a little saying in there but i just love them um, and again any style you can do any style you like but i'm just loving these to go on to vintage journals so that's those and again hang keys or anything you've got on there that you've got any little charms that you've got so shall i make one of these without the little scroll in or shall i show you how to make the three one should we make a three one with um a pretty three one shall we make a pretty one let's have a go just to show you um let's just so you want three obviously different sizes different lengths of these like that so a little bit smaller there scrunch that in just push that together like that and then I'm going to pop these in there just to open this up a little bit because cutting them just squashed them a bit like that I do like these now we're going to stick them together I'm not going to bother gluing the bottoms up because I will hide that um, I'll pop a bit of material or something over the uh, the bottom of it so a bit of glue let's just stick you on there then stick you on there like that okay just oh gosh hold those in place for a second before I get too sticky now let me see what have I got here I've got some very shiny pink I have some of this pink which is very pretty and I've got some of this which is nice and sparkly now that I did put a little bit of that on here which is pretty isn't it should we go for this one should we have a little bit of this let's cut a little triangle bit off let's just pop this stick that in that little bit of gluey bit oops once I've wrapped the wire around it will hold those in place so let's just put that down like that a little bit of glue take the lid off pop a little bit of glue on there again make them as scruffy or as pretty as you like so let's just hold that in place hold 
hold down like that. These aren't. Wait and don't be so impatient as me and wait until they're dry. There we go. Stick that in there. And I'm going to just glue this bit in here. in place. Let's pop one of these on there. There we go. Okay, lid on. Lid on. Well then again we might need that. Let's push up there. Let's have a little bit of this one. Or should we have the netting one? Let's have a little bit of this. really think I need all of that, do I? Take that off. Wrap this around. Look at that. Lovely. I'm going to wrap that all the way around, glue it, and then we can pop the wire on it just to hold it in place. The glue will come out. Perfect, perfect. A little bit of wire. Where's my wire? They do like look quite scruffy until you sort of like finish them. So don't worry about it looking messy. Just pick up this piece of wire. Ouch. Let's have this. Just hold that like that there. Hold that together and just twist it. And this is what's going to hold them together as well. Like that. Oops. Not too tight because we're going to lose our little circles. There we are. Twist that. Let's chop this off. Twist this around. And just pop that in there. So we've got our little circle there just to hold in like that. Just so we can pop our little jump ring on. So how are we doing for time? Oh, we've got ages. We've got ages yet. So we've got our little jump ring. Let's pop our little jump ring on there. Like that. I'm going to just ink the top of those just a little bit. Now, if you had some like pink paper, you could do like little pink scrollies, couldn't you? So I shall cut three of these. Wire. That can be for the smaller one. Let's just ink these up. Gosh, what a mess I have here. There we go. Ink both sides. It has some little shiny paper actually as well, would look quite nice. You can get some nice little glitter paper, can't you? So let's just pop that on there and it can go out of the way. Let's just scrunch this up. Let's try and roll these up a little bit better. Scrunch over the edge, let's pop you in there, like that. Whoops, we don't want you with us. That one can go in there. I think this one will probably be the bigger one. 
So this is a little bit longer. Scrunch that around. That can go in that one. Oh, I like this one. This is a real sort of triple fairy one, isn't it? Like this. Bend over that bit and then pop it into that little hole there. Look at that. Oh, do you like that? I think we're going to have to have something on here now what have i got i've got the only bit of stuff here at the moment i've got is this so let's go around this way there we go tie this around like a little a little knot or should I just do a little bow? Should I see if I can do a little bow? I think that might look a little bit prettier, mightn't it? Do you need to colour some seam binding again? Go through that quite a lot. Oh! There we go. Just cut that little bit off. And we have a little bow on there, oopsie daisy, a little bow on there like that. Now I think I want something a little bit of this because as you can't really see the bow, it sort of like blends in too much. So let's just take a little bit of cheesecloth, wrinkle this up, pop our glue, which way is the front? that stick that on this is drying up so quickly our weather here has decided to get hotter again so we're going to have a little mini heat wave apparently which will be nice that means I will get lots and lots of washing done all the big stuff before it starts getting colder again Gosh, I got an exciting life. Lots of washing. So there we go. Look at that. I love that. I think I'm going to pop that on a piece of chain. But I think this is a smaller piece. It's a smaller piece. Let's open up this jump ring. So yes, I try and spend as much time in my craft room as I can because I know as soon as I go downstairs it is housework and I really don't like housework there's too many other things to do too many fun crafty bits to make so there we go look at that I love these that is so pretty so do you think we've got time let me just have a quick look yes I'm going to show you how to make this little one as well so without the scroll so these are scroll free so again, take a piece of straw, cut that down. Now again, let me just quickly show you. If you don't have it, I got a scrap piece of paper. If you don't have straws, just make yourself a little tube, just like that. Look, just roll a piece of paper around like that. And then you've got your little tube and then just glue that together. And then you can pop whatever, your scroll or whatever inside. And just again squash the bottom like you would um, the straw but like that so just make a little little circle and roll it up but these straws are so much easier let's just pop that round like that squash that one down now I'm not going to glue that up because I'm going to pop a piece of this around it Where's my other one gone off? Take a little bit of this ribbon stuff. It's like a little bit of sort of burlap, isn't it? So I'm going to pop that. I'm going to glue it first. Like this. Ouch. 
put that on. Like that. Now you don't have to have this burlapy ribbon. Um, you can use fabric or you could even use a piece of paper around it or a pretty piece of ribbon. Let's just go down either side. Oh gosh. Like that. I'm going to fold that over. And then chop that off. Okay, let's pop those out of the way a little bit. And then squash these down. Let's see if I've put enough glue on the edges. So there we are. So there we go. That's your little sort of um, hessian bag, isn't it? Which we're going to pop a little flower in. Let's just ink that a little bit. Not that you'd really see that actually. Now you could make these into paper clips as well. You just pop a paper clip on the back, couldn't you? But I do like my dingly dangly, so I'm going to take another piece of wire. I'm going to pop it through either side like this. So this is quite nice having the, the holy ribbon. Like that. Pull it to the side, so pop it through, but pull it round to one side, like that. Oops, I've just squashed the little circle. Twist this, like that. Chop that off. I think probably it's a bit too long, don't need that much. And then we will just bend this around, just make some little loops in there, like that. So that's your little loop again to hold your jump ring or your bulb pin from. And then we shall have a flower. Shall we have a purple one? Shall I just look at these? These are so old. Look, I've got old bits of fabric and bits of things in there. These are so old. Look. Some of them are going a bit rusty. That shows you how long I've had them for. There we are. Okay, so that's our little purple one. That looks pretty, doesn't it? So let's just bend that up. Don't know how big. There we go. Perfect. That can go in there. Let's get a little bit of... Should we have a little bit of this? I think I need that much now. Just chop that off. Just going to stick it sort of around the back, just around like that, just so you've got something at the back of it. That looks okay. Put this on. Just coming off. I'm not sure whether anybody else has used the tape to tape up their arms, but. It was recommended that that's the way to do it. So we shall see. I don't like sort of bandages around it because I can't work. It restricts me too much. Um, so I'm just trying it out. See if it will work better. So what does that look like? Oh, look at that. That's so pretty, isn't it? Now I need a little bit of glue in here, like that, underneath, pop that in, just so he stays put, little purple flower. So you might have some smaller flowers in your stash, but I don't, I only have these ones, okay, like that, so that looks good doesn't it so what should we have on this one do we have anything else have I got oh I haven't used my little rosy things trim yet I need my purple one 
Oh, here we go. Dig deep and I can always find a little bit of rose trim somewhere. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Shall we have a little bit of cheesecloth? Pop a little bit of this. Open it up. Put it on there. Stick that down. Oops. And then should we have these just going along there? There we go. And then that can just sit like that. Perfect. So I won't put chain on this one. I think I don't know if I could just put one of these and a bowl pin. These are really good because they they just push in like that. They're like sort of a spring. So I'm not quite sure what they're called, but they're little bales anyway. Now, let me just get a few more little ball pins. Clip that on there so it hangs down. So there we go. Doesn't that look pretty? Now, I will be popping some of these, I think, in my eclectic journal that I am doing. Oh, that didn't stay on, did it? Let's clip that on there. Oops, that's it. That's better. So look at that. Love them. So there we go, guys. So you can make pretty ones, feminine ones. There's a nice, lovely one there, which I just love. Or you can make some sort of like masculine type ones, which are all vintagey ones. So again, I've used the same sort of fabric because this is what I was using in my my journal so that's why I had it to hand but I just think they are great really really lovely and again if you've got any charms or anything like that um, to dangle off them they work really well as well so there we go guys I'll pop a little bit of a close-up um, at the end of the video as well so you can have a have a proper look um, like that but I just love them so there we go guys thank you so so much for joining me um that is the one let me just show you again this one on here so this is our lovely um autumn one which i think with a butterfly on looks really really lovely so there we go guys thank you so so much for joining me please stay safe take care and i will see you soon all right guys bye bye